Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, evaluating the constant of integration. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this with an example. Okay, so we want to find f of x um, if f dash of x equals 12x plus 4 and f of 1 equals 2. So the whole purpose of this is we're looking for c. Alright, so the first step what we're going to do is we are going to integrate f dash of x first. Alright, so when we do that, this is what we're going to get. So f of x would be 12x, or integral of that, which equals 12x squared divided by 2 plus 4x plus c. Now this could be simplified to 6x squared plus 4x plus c. Now, we know that f of 1 equals 2. And we also have our function itself which is 6x squared plus 4x plus c. So what we can do is we can substitute f of 1 into the equation where y value is 2 and try and figure out what c is. So we have 2 equals 6 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus c. And what we should get is c is equal to negative 8 which means our function when we integrated it would equal which means f of x is equal to 6x squared plus 4x minus 8 okay I mean this is things that you would have done in last year but it's just a, another bit of a refresher course here looking at another example where we have f double dash of x. So in this case uh, we want to find out what f of x is if f double dash of x equals 18x plus 8 and f of 0 equals 2 and f of 1 equals 10. So in the previous example we actually did f dash of x this time we're doing f double dash of x. So let's get started and um, you kind of will see the pattern of how to do this. So first off, we'll figure out what f dash of x is. And to do that, we integrate 18x plus 8, which means we would get 18x squared divided by 2 plus 8x plus c. Now what we can do is from this point, we could actually integrate it once more. So, but first we'll simplify it to 9x squared plus 8x plus c. Now we're going to integrate f dash of x which means f of x is equal to 9x cubed divided by 3 plus 8x squared divided by 2. Now, the thing is, we have we don't know what this constant is, but we know that when we integrate it, we're going to have uh, the constant and x next to each other. So we're going to call this constant number 1, where it has x, plus we're going to have a new constant now because, you know, we, we just don't know what it's there and that's going to become c2. So we actually have two constants we need to find, c1 and c2. When we simplify this function, we are going to get 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus c1x and plus c2. Now, using the two points that we have been given, we can actually figure out c1 and c2. So the first one that I'm going to do is uh, f of 0 is equal to 2 there we go, which means uh, with the when I substitute it back into the original function, I'm going to get 2 equals 3 times 0 cubed plus 4 times 0 squared plus c1 times 0 plus c2. Now because everything is being, well, zeros in every one of those terms, I know that c2 is equal to 2. So, now I've figured out what c2 is, f of x is 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus c1x plus 2. Now I use the second point that I've been given, which is f of 1 is equal to 10. There it is. So f of 1 is equal to 10, which means 10 is equal to 3 times 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 squared plus c1 times 1 and plus 2. Now rearranging everything here, I'm going to get 10 is equal to 3 plus 4 plus C1 plus 2. 
which means c1 is equal to 1. And now I've figured out what my original function was. My original function is 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 1x plus 2. Alright, that's it from this session, folks. Um, thanks for watching.